Well then, hey up. How do? See there. Yes, four for the price of one. David Hoyle with you with a bit more Yorkshire Brass for Yorkshire Day. A Yorkshire Day special this week and a programme absolutely full of music, either associated with Yorkshire or played by our Yorkshire bands. Thank you so much for getting in touch with all your requests and particularly on this week's programme, your feedback on words and phrases uh, which come from Yorkshire, many of which we do not use any longer. I'm going to be going through a load of these as we go through the show. We started today with the Home Firth anthem, Pratty Flowers. Shortened version, a fanfare version if you like, and it was played by the Hepworth Band. The Hepworth Band will be with us on a few occasions in the next couple of hours. Let's get on with the first request. Nigel in Bailden has been in touch. Any chance of playing with a signature march of the Brickhouse and Rastrick Band Oily, please, on Yorkshire Day weekend? Nigel, we can do that with absolute pleasure. The march is by Sam B. Wood and it's called West Riding. <laughs> March by Sam B. Wood. West Riding is its title. It is, of course, the signature march of the Brighouse and Rastrick Band. Nigel in Bailden. Thank you very much indeed uh, for that one. Next up, we've got the overture slot of the week. Uh, this is for Ron. Ron is in Denbydale near Huddersfield. Any chance of me hearing, please, the Sellers International recording of Franz von Suppe's Light Cavalry Overture. I think it's brilliant. So do I, Ron. One of my favourite overtures. It was once said by a brass banding expert in West Yorkshire that this overture was overplayed. What utter claptrap. How dare you. Here we go. The Sellers International Band and the Light Cavalry Overture by Franz von Suppe. Thank you. 
playing that one for Ron in Denby Dale, the Sellers International Band, the Light Cavalry Overture by Franz von Suppe. Uh, I used the word claptrap before I played that, deliberately actually, because we're talking about words and phrases in Yorkshire that some of them, well, we just don't use them anymore, and others are so funny that we use them that we'll, uh, we'll mention them. I, I kind of set the ball rolling a couple of weeks ago and gave you a few of these um, of the, these things. Please and thank you were the first two things on the list that many people don't seem to use these days. It's common courtesy. Where where has it gone? If you ask for something, you say please, and when it's delivered, you say thank you, and that's the end of that. Hundred lines. Uh, yes, a, a few emails came in about this. Hundred lines from school. If you if you are chattering or, you know, hundred lines. I must clean my shoes before I come to school in the morning. Things like that. I don't think that happens in schools anymore. I'd be amazed if it does. I'll tell you, Father. Now, that there, there is a good one. Um, yeah, if you did anything as a lad and somebody caught you doing it, I'll tell you, Father. Yeah, they used to tell the local p constable as well, and the local policeman used to knock on people's doors, says Tom. Um, and uh, you've got to click round ear oil <laughs> from the policeman and from your father. Imagine that nowadays. I also referred back to a, a television advert for ordering... Holiday brochures. One telephone call settles it all. Ring leads 440188 today to choose up to six holiday brochures of your choice. And um, one of two of you have pointed out you could also order them from TV Times and Radio Times and out of the newspaper. Yeah, you used to tick up to six boxes, fill your name and address in, put it in an envelope, take it to the post box, and over the next few weeks, uh, your um, your brochures would arrive. <laughs> Ian says, how about, would you, would you like it wrapped in newspaper? Yeah, go to the fish shop. They're not the same when they're not wrapped in newspaper. The smell that used to come through the newspaper was wonderful. You don't get that same smell through the white paper for some reason. And uh, one final one for now. This has come from Dave. Dave says, answers on a postcard. <laughs> yes, a television um, television competition to win something yeah answers on a postcard and again you used to write your name and address on a postcard pop a stamp on it and go down the post box and hope that you won more of these in a little while first solo of the week this is for karen and joe they live in selby uh, can we hear this one on the yorkshire day program please to remind us of the film brassed off you certainly can um, this one features mark walters on the flugelhorn with the grime thorpe colliery band one of our most popular requests on a bit more yorkshire brass yes it's the old favorite orange juice to give it its proper name on this recording, the Adagio from Concerto de Aranjue. Enjoy. <laughs>
The lovely sound of Mark Walters with the Grimethorpe Colliery Band playing the Adagio from Concerto de Aranjue. Orange juice to you and I and most of the brass band in fraternity. Thanks to Karen and Joe in Selby. They emailed yorkshirebrass at gmail.com. You can do that if you'd like to get a request in for a future programme. Give us three or four weeks' notice if you can, particularly if it's a dated request. Off to Beedale next to Mary. Uh, this is for the Yorkshire Day programme, Oily, please, if you could. Uh, it's a song that we used to sing in school in my neck of the woods. Born and bred in Beedale, and it's just so appropriate for this particular programme. Back to the Hepworth Band for this one, and uh, a very traditional tune as well. The Lass of Richmond Hill.
Lass of Richmond Hill was played there by the Hepworth Band at the request of Mary in Beedale. We move from Beedale onto the coast. Now we're going to Scarborough. We say hello to Susan and Jeff. Uh, they sent me in a road sign, a, a great one actually, a Yorkshire road sign, and it shows on the uh, picture uh, a generator with some traffic lights popping up out of it, and they're just changing from red to amber. And then it's one of those red signs with the white border. And it reads, Hey up, when red light shows, hold the horses. <laughs> I like that. I think it's brilliant. Uh, what have you requested? Well, you live in Scarborough, and you've requested a lovely piece of music here played by the Brickhouse and Rastrick Band. This was on the Floral Dance LP of uh, 1977, 78, and it's appropriate to where you both live, Scarborough. Are you going to Scarborough Fair?
lovely and thoughtful piece of music. Scarborough Fair, the Brickhouse and Rastrick band, playing there from the Floral Dance LP of 1977. Um, Jeff and Susan in Scarborough with that particular request. I've got a piece of paper in front of me here, and um, I think I may have read this out a couple of weeks ago, but it's so good I want to read it again, and if I didn't, I'm sorry I didn't read it, but it says quite simply, you get to invite one person to a function. If they're late, you win a million pounds. Who are you inviting? Well, let me tell you I'd win the million pounds several times over, but I'm not going to tell you who I'm inviting because I don't want to upset anyone. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's another matter. Andy and Pickering, here we go with your choice. Could I please hear the Hepworth Band playing a Yorkshire fantasy? There's a bit of everything in this, and it would be very appropriate for the Yorkshire Day programme. Andy, our pleasure. Here you go, a Yorkshire fantasy with the Hepworth Band. <laughs>
bit of everything there. A Yorkshire fantasy, the Hepworth band playing for Andy in Pickering. Dot in Barnsley is up next. Dot sent us one in here for um, the uh, the Frasers. Thanks for sending this one in. Dot says, how about Mivard? Now, Mivard, um, is it still used? Yes, it is. I know someone uh, who knows this word very well. Don't I, Mr Robinson? Yes, he uses Mivard uh, all the time. Can't be Mivard. It kind of means, don't bother me, don't, don't trouble me. Um, a great word. Thanks, Dot, for that. Dot says, uh, I'm willing to dancing. So glad that we can now go back uh, dancing with our friends. And could you play uh, a waltz for me on any featured programme. Well, uh, we can. I'm going to do this one today for you because this is a selection of Yorkshire waltzes. It's selection number 17 and it's recorded from uh, a CD, played from a CD called Gems from Queensbury by the Black Dyke Band. Do enjoy this dot, thanks, and enjoy your dancing. Yorkshire waltzes number 17. <laughs> Thank you. 
The Black Dyke Band playing Yorkshire Waltzers number 17. Dot in Barnsley, well into dancing, loves a, a waltz and uh, likes the, the word mithered. Thanks for that one. Let's have a look at some of these, these other words and phrases uh, that, that's coming. Um, Philip from uh, Egremont, originally from Doncaster and now lives in Egremont in Cumbria. Uh, how about um, laking? Yeah, are you laking out? Are you playing out? Uh, Ginnell? Oh gosh, is it a ginnel? Is it a, a snicket? Um, we could talk about that one all day, but basically they're both fairly narrow rights of way to get between A and B. 
Slack, says Philip. Yeah, this is coal, isn't it? A, a small, small amount of coal. And people use it sometimes for money. Have you got any Slack? Any Slack? A dolly tub. Hey, I remember a dolly tub when I was a boy. Down in the cellar. He had a bath in it. Most people now use dolly tubs for plants. Although they're not quite as big as the old bath. Leave the door on the snake. How about this? Yeah, put chain on. Put chain on. Uh, leave it on slack. Snake, sorry, not slack. I've just done slack before. Uh, and, and snicker. Now, here's an interesting one. Um, snicker. S-N-I-C-K-E-R. My first thought was, should it have said snick it? In a similar way to Ginla. Maybe it should, I don't know. But there is the use of the word snicker in the Hull area. Snicker sneeze. Somebody from Hull, please explain that on email to me, please. YorkshireBrass at gmail.com. What does snicker sneeze mean? Apparently, it's from Hull. Who knows what a coal oil is? Yeah. Put wood in foil. <laughs> They're all good stuff, aren't they? Uh, Philip in Egremont, thanks for very much indeed for all of those. Uh, now then, Euphonium Solo, regular correspondent from Leek in Staffordshire. Mr Denzel Digweed. How the devil are you? Denzel says, I'd love to hear John Clough playing Grandfather's Clock with the Black Dyke Mills Band. You can hear the valves on this recording. It's that good. Musically, it's terrific, says DD, Mr Denzel Digweed. Thank you very much, my friend. Here we go. John Clough with the Black Dyke Mills Band and the aforementioned solo, Grandfather's Clock. <laughs>
Recording by a legend, John Clough with the Black Dyke Mills Band playing Grandfather's Clock. That was requested by Denzel Digweed in Leek. Denzel uh, went on to our Facebook group, Yorkshire Brass. If you're not a member of the private group, drop in, send us a request. We'll add you to the group, and when the show comes out every week, you'll be the first to know because it is released into the Yorkshire Brass group. One or two more of these messages uh, that have come in. Susan in Murfield, quarter of Riley. Riley's toffee rolls, please. Goodness me. Let me tell you, you can still get them. Although I had a conversation with someone three or four weeks ago who said, yes, you can still buy them, but they're not the same as they used to be. What is? Uh, a quarter of monkey nuts, please, says Alan in Whitley. Yeah, um, I remember it well. Ken in Liversidge says, a fish in a penneth. Yeah. <laughs> Visit to the old chippy. Lots of you have been in touch to ask what the... Uh, the little things are that you put on your fish and chips, bits, scraps. Again, it's another one of these regional arguments. It's a bit like a tea cake and a bread bap and a bread cake and a cob. Depends whereabouts you live in, uh, in Yorkshire as to what you call all of those. A few more of these coming along in a little while. Back to the music now, though. Stan is in Richmond, lovely part of Yorkshire. Any chance of hearing three Dale dancers by Arthur Wood, please. Yes, absolutely. The Hepworth Band are playing here. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you.
Three Dale Dancers by Arthur Wood, played by the Hepworth Band at the request of Stan in Richmond. You're with David Hoyle on a bit more Yorkshire Brass for Yorkshire Day. A Yorkshire Day special. The music today is either all from Yorkshire or played by our Yorkshire bands. Now, I make no apology for that. We have to celebrate the White Rose Day as we do every year. It's on the 1st of August, if you would not realised, just to let you know. Phil Hudson, how are you? And more importantly, how is your good lady die? Uh, it's your 35th wedding anniversary on the 2nd of August. Phil's been in touch and says she does deserve a medal for putting up with me all of these years. This was one of your wedding hymns and the one that Phil's chosen for you die. Happy anniversary to you both from all your banding friends. Number seven in the red hymn book is how Phil's put it on here. It's a slightly different arrangement that I'm playing today by the Grimethorpe Colliery Band, but a super arrangement as well. Blind Wern, Love Divine or Love's Excelling. Love Divine or Love's Excelling, the Grimethorpe Colliery Band, wishing Phil and Di Hudson a very happy 35th wedding anniversary for the 2nd of um, August. I forgot what month it was then, nearly. Right, coming to the end of the first part of this weekend's special Yorkshire Day programme, David in Brickhouse says, How about the power and the passion of the Brickhouse and Rastrick Band on the Yorkshire Day programme? The music's not from Yorkshire, but I don't care because it shows the prowess of the band. We end the first part of this weekend's online show with Leon Bowman's Takata from Sweet Gothic.
brilliant, powerful and engaging. Takata from Sweet Gothic by Leon Bowman was played by the Brickhouse and Rastrick Band and brought us to the end of the first part of this week's A Bit More Yorkshire Brass, a special Yorkshire Day programme. It's David Hoyle with you, thanks for listening. Let's get underway in the second part of the programme with a short Screamer March by Fred Jewell. The Slathwaite Band are playing here. Rob Westercott is conducting, I'm playing on this one as well. I love this, it's called They're Off. <laughs> Fred Jewell, the Slathwaite Band, conducted by Rob Westercott. We are indeed off in the second part of this week's A Bit More Yorkshire Brass with me, David Hoyle. Johnny in Wakey is up next. Johnny says, now then, Oily, you can't let your Yorkshire Day programme go by without playing your signature march. Yes. Um, I was reminded this week about this as well by Andy Catherell. Andy sent me a, a, a picture, an image of a part, a piece of music titled... Yorkshire Brass, and in brackets underneath the name, it said for David Hoyle, and it just said, guess what appeared on our stand this week? Uh, Derek Broadbent, if you're listening, I am eternally grateful, always, um, and, and hugely impressed by this march. I think it's a brilliant march, great to play, great to listen to, and it's got this, this bass tune running through it, which basically says, my girl's a Yorkshire girl, Yorkshire through and through. The Black Dyke Band are playing here. This is how to play it. Uh, do sit back and enjoy this march which is named after the programme, Yorkshire Brass.
Derek Broadbent's March Yorkshire Brass, dedicated to myself. I am so grateful. Thank you very much indeed. The Black Dyke Band were playing there, and Johnny in Wakefield requested it. Uh, and good luck to uh, young Mr Catherell and his band as they work their way through it. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Let's have a look at some of these other things that have come in with the Yorkshire Day uh, sayings on them. Malcolm in Home first says, Junta. How <laughs> do we use it anymore? Uh, we do, it's used in our house a lot. I'm often accused of chuntering. What are you chuntering about? What a great word. Um, Carlin Bolton, guzzle. Are you guzzling? What are you eating? Yeah, if you're guzzling, you're eating, and you're often eating fast. Kath says, how about smittle? I had to think about this one. In fact, I had to look it up. Um, smittle means to infect. Interesting at the moment. There's a lot of smittling going on. Um, abide, the use of the word abide. Wendy says it means suffer or bear in that context. But it certainly doesn't in the context of the hymn tune. You wouldn't say suffer with me or bear with me, would you? Abide with me. You're not suffering anything when we play that hymn tune, that's for sure. Um, that often gets shortened where I live to bide. Can't bide him. Can't bide him. My grandma used to say that. Can't do with him. Can't bide him. Um, the word happen. This was an Emmerdale one. Emmerdale farm. Happen. Name Mr Wilkes. Happen it will. Happens, happen to know Seth Armstrong. It was used a lot in Emmerdale Farm. Um, Kenny in Sale. I can't read this one out in full because it might not get uh, published, but I'll, I'll read the initials. Um, do we still use the phrase A over T? Yes, we do. Um, Anne says, how about the word throng? Meaning busy. We're throng on. That absolutely still gets used to this day. I promise you. Right, who's up next? Let's have a look. Another solo time. Uh, this is for Vera in Linthwaite. Could you please play me a Richard Marshall solo? Uh, I think he's a fantastic cornet player. And uh, something maybe a bit of a slower one for a change for a Sunday. Uh, yes, Vera, with pleasure. This is the music of Maybray and the Black Dyke Band accompanying Richard Marshall here as he plays the lovely solo, Bless This House.
fabulous. Richard Marshall, quality as always with the Black Dyke band playing Maybrays. Bless this house, that was for Vera in Linthwaite. And from one lady beginning with V, we go to another one. Vi, Aunt Vi, to be precise. This is a lovely message uh, from Vi's nephew, Malcolm Fisher. Could you please play a dedication for my Aunt Violet, who will be a hundred years of age on the 30th of July. How fabulous. Aunt Vi was born in Denbydale. She was the 10th child of 12 and she's the last remaining. But she's lived now in Thurgoland for quite some time. I'll leave the choice of music to yourself, but I'm sure that with your vast knowledge, you'll come up with something really, really good. Um, well, what I do know is uh, Vi's brother Jack Fisher was conductor of the Hay Edge Band. So I, I just thought it was really appropriate to play something by the Hay Edge Band. And I'm pretty certain, uh, Aunt Vi, that you will love this march as well. It's also got strong connections to Yorkshire with the speedway and everything. Let's have a listen as the Hay Edge Band play the brilliant march, Imperial Echoes. Happy birthday, Vi! The Hayed Edge Band playing Imperial Echoes, wishing Vi in Fergoland a very, very happy 100th birthday. Brilliant. I hope you got your card from the Queen Flower. I really do. Uh, next up, Les and Anne in Murfield. We've just spent a few days up in James Herriot country. We're big fans of all creatures great and small, and we went to have a nosy at some of the places where the programme was filmed. Is there a brass band version of the theme tune? Do you know there is? And it would be the absolute appropriate day to play it today, given that we're doing music for Yorkshire Day. The theme from All Creatures Great and Small, played here by the Hepworth Band. <laughs> Thank you. 
The Hepworth Band playing the theme from All Creatures Great and Small. Les and Anne have had a lovely holiday in the vicinity of uh, Darabe, the imaginary village of Darabe, all filmed up and around Grassington and that sort of area. I don't normally watch uh, fictional TV, but I, I do love All Creatures Great and Small. I think there's some fantastic scenery in that, and I love the acting in there as well. Off to Howarth next, to Mick. Now then, Oily. I hope you're not going to do a Yorkshire Day programme without featuring a trip on a steam train on one of our uh, branch lines, one of our preserved lines. Could I please hear the Worth Valley Railway from Three Howarth Impressions by Gordon Langford? Mick, you certainly can. The Marsden Silver Prize Band are playing here. <laughs> Valley Railway by Gordon Langford. You can just feel the Marsden band working us through there, can't you? You leave Keithley, you go up the 1 in 76 hill um, towards Howarth and Oxenhope. It's a great day out. If you've not done it, you should visit the Keithley and Worth Valley Railway if you're in that area. North York Moors Railway, if not. Now then, uh, I need your answers to this one. I think I know what this is, but send them in on an email. What is 15 to and a pair? I remember someone who used to, to say this. How are you doing? He used to say, I'm 15 to in a pair. Can you tell me exactly what that means? Yorkshirebrass at gmail.com is the email address. You can email uh, there. You can go on to our private members group, Yorkshire Brass, on Facebook, or you can direct message on Twitter at Yorkshire Brass. That pretty much brings us to the end of, uh, of all the uh, emails, letters, messages that we've had about Yorkshire sayings. What's up next? Yeah, a test piece of your choice, please, says Stu in Micklefield. Well, I'm going to do this one today uh, because it's Yorkshire Day. I think this test piece 
deserves a chance as a, as a, a chosen test piece for all bands in something like an area. Uh, Andy Cook has written this. I've played this. In fact, I'm playing on this recording with the Lindley Band. I really enjoyed working on this piece, and I'm sure any band who play this one will do indeed. It's called Postcards from Home, and home is H-O-L-M-E, as in the Home Valley. I hope you enjoy listening to it.
The Lindy Band, conducted by Rob Westercott, playing Andy Cook's test piece, Postcards from Home. Lovely stuff. Irene in Meltham is up next. Please could you play me the hymn tune Deep Harmony for Yorkshire Day in memory of my late husband Len. Irene, we can do it with pleasure. Hope you're okay. Sent with our best wishes. And the Black Dyke Mills Band are playing here. Deep Harmony is our second hymn tune of the week. Handel Parker's hymn tune Deep Harmony was played by the Black Dyke Mills Band in memory of Len. Len's wife Irene was in touch with that one. Now, we're almost at the end of this special Yorkshire Day programme and I've had to chew something around. What do I finish this programme with? Um, there are two finales really and I've done them in the order I've done them for a very straightforward reason. One is a, a massive piece of music by one of our Yorkshire bands and the other is an anthem, a Yorkshire anthem. So I'm going to finish with the Yorkshire anthem because the piece I'm going to play now isn't from Yorkshire, it's from Cornwall. But we can't do it, we, we just can't do Yorkshire Day without playing this piece of music. This recording is from 2017, it was 40 years in 2017 since this piece of music went to number two in the pop charts for the Brickhouse and Rastrick Band. The band of 2017 were joined by the remaining band members from 1977. Uh, I was there too to represent the band members from 1977 who either couldn't play on the day or are sadly no longer with us. I loved every minute of playing in the Brickhouse and Rastrick reunion band. This was recorded in Huddersfield Town Hall and you all know of course what I'm talking about. The floral dance.
never fails. An audience pleaser, if ever there was one. The floral dance, played by the Brick House and Rastrick Reunion Band, recorded at Huddersfield Town Hall back in 2017. Brilliant feeling to be part of that performance for me, playing with such uh, esteemed musicians. Thank you very much again for listening. This was show number 66 of A Bit More Yorkshire Brass with me, David Hoyle. Back with 67 next week. Keep those requests coming, please. Yorkshirebrass at gmail.com is the best um, address to send them into on the email, really. If you can, give me plenty of notice if it's a dated request. What are we going to finish the programme with? Well, we've got the Brickhouse and Rastrick Band. We've got the Sellers Engineering Band and we've got Mast Male Yorkshire Voices. This was recorded in the 1990s at the Royal Albert Hall in London. We have to finish with this Yorkshire anthem. On Il Clamour, Bartat. Thanks again. See you next week. Ta-ra! <laughs>